So you've joined us live here in Brisbane for the second game from today's second game week. And it's gonna be China against Uzbekistan from Group B as both teams will be hoping to get their first victory in this year's Asian Cup. So Uzbekistan drawn their game against North Korea in the first game day and China lost 3-0 against Saudi Arabia. Here is the Chinese lineup 4-2-3-1 formation this time with Yu Dabao up top. And for Uzbekistan is the same lineup with a couple of changes. Nesterov comes on in on goal and Bakayev, Jeparov, Akhmerov and Tursunov will be the attacking four players with the former the lone striker in that game so the referee get things underway as China having possession in the first moments of the game they'll be attacking from left to right with red jerseys in Saudi Arabia with um, Uzbekistan sorry so Uzbekistan will be playing with white shirts and will be attacking from right to left as Japarov now has possession but was dispossessed by Han Chao. Vulei lost possession. Long pass for Bakaev. Here is Akhmedov. Tursunov. Shor Akhmedov. Here is Bakaev now takes it on the volley. Nice idea but the execution was not good enough as the ball goes wide for a goal kick Chinese goalkeeper Wang gets the ball back in play but Uzbekistan get it immediately through pass over the top for Akhmedov but it was a long one and attacking midfielder didn't manage to get on the end of it once again a goal kick for China Wong plays it Wong but then Uzbekistan once again get possession immediately this time Akhmedov oh what a finish how about that from Akhmedov and Uzbekistan take the lead in that game that was an amazing shot from distance once again the goal kick the aerial battle was won from a player with a white shirt and the long shot from Ahmedov. That was no saving. Look at this. So one nil the score. After that amazing strike by Ahmedov to get them in the lead. Let's see if China can respond to that goal that was a late challenge surely there will be a yellow card for the Chinese player as we see the player with white lying down injured on the ground and the bow gets the yellow card is Haidarov now is out of the pitch for medical treatment Filip Osian Akhmedov plays it right towards the right for Tursunov Shor Akhmedov gets it once again for Tursunov this one is too long but the Chinese defender keeps the ball in play as they're trying to get the counter attack going but he didn't succeed with that one. As Haidarov comes on back on the pitch. Now a throw in for China. Hai. Trying to find Lei, but 
Filippo Siamo with a good challenge to intercept the pass Denisov plays it for Bakayev over the top once again the pass is too long Kapadze back to Denisov well, another long pass Haidarov here is Japarov Bakayev once again plays it for Tursunov who was in the center of the park but the pass was a bad one and it was well read now the bow flicks it on for Yuhai plays it over the top for Yuhan Chao but once again defense is doing a solid job there and Duvey possession It is Boulay, Zhengji. The Bao. Can get past Filippo Sian. But Filippo Sian made a huge mistake in the last game against North Korea as he left his man unmarked in the box to open the scoring. But he was very solid throughout the whole game. Now Akhmedov receives the pass in the box. Japarov now will surely get the rebound. And this is 2-0. An easy finish for Japarov. And the celebration is a deserved one. It seems that this is going to be another big loss for the Chinese national team. Chaparov made it hard for himself, but managed to finish it. 2-0 the score. They have things in their hands now. Uzbekistan, after 30 minutes played in the game. And China with those long balls, they're not working out so far very well. Kapadze, Jeparov, trying to find other goal scorer Akhmedov, Bakayev now gets past the defender and this is 3-0, game over for China as Uzbekistan get the three points in this one, there's surely no coming back after they've conceded three goals, Jeparov gets his second goal, here Akhmedov, a terrible display from the defenders I'm not sure he was aware what was going on around him and Japarov with a nice shot to curl it in in the near corner so 3-0 the score just before half time it's a comfortable advantage for Uzbekistan China surely will be disappointed after that display Kapadze now they continue to push forward long ball for Akhmedov but it's again too long and both teams relying on those long passes too much but Uzbekistan managed to win the aerial battles at least Yes, you the bow is struggling up front for China. Here is Ahmedov once again trying the shot off target. China will surely be waiting for the end of that first half. Get back in the, into the dressing room to hear some speech from their manager to inspire them for the second half. But now Bakai. Can they get a fourth one? The shot was blocked. Once again that aerial battle is lost for the Chinese player. And Ahmedov managing to get 
control over the ball. Haidarov. Bakayev. Once again Bakayev still has it. Akhmedov there didn't manage to get on the end of that pass. And here is the referee's whistle for the first half. As it stands, China nil, Uzbekistan 3. We'll be back in the second half. So we're back in the second half. And some stats from the first half suggest that China cannot make any impact on that game. They're not having any impact because they, they don't have any go attempts. Although the possession is pretty much balanced with Uzbekistan having only 52%. China don't have a single shot on goal. It's Uzbekistan having fired seven shots in the first half and scoring three goals. Now Han Chao did manage to find his teammate Tursunov for Uzbekistan. Shor Ahmedov towards Ahmedov. Kapadze plays it over the top for Tursunov. They won't get they won't let that pass go behind the defense but now Bakaev and it's wide once again he'll be disappointed not to grab a goal in that game as it seems to be too easy for them 54 minutes played Van gets it long again here is Yuhai Towards Yu Han Chao. Here is Vu Lei. Yu Dabao. Again trying a shot, but Filippo Sian with an amazing, magnificent challenge to dispossess him. Ahmedov, Jeparov. Kapadze. Playing it long again. But this time China win possession. Vulei. Here is Yuhai. Plays it back. Zhengji. Yu Dabao. Plays it wide for Yuhai, but the fullbacks from Uzbekistan are paying enough attention. And they're staying very deep, not allowing that wide passes to find the attackers. Another long pass, Filip Ocean with no problems in this one. Ahmedov towards Bakayev, has some support down the left. Decides to play it back for Ahmedov. That was a bad decision, I, sh I suppose. Here is Yu Hai towards Yu Dabao. Here is Han Chao, once again Dabao. Lei. Plays it forward for Yu Dabao, but Nesterov. That's no problems collecting the pass and gets it long for Ahmedov. Surely he won't have any problems winning the aerial battle. Kapadze, Shor Ahmedov. Back to Kapadze in the middle. A pass over the top for Bukhan. Is he having a shot? And the goalkeeper from China did well to stop it. Substitution from China. Double substitution. And Genrich comes on for Uzbekistan as well. And Tursunov also is making way for Hasanov. Liao Lisheng being fouled. There will be a yellow card maybe. Yes. Yellow card for Haidarov. The second yellow for the game, but this time it's for Uzbekistan. Skydarov goes into the referee's booking. Here is Yuhai. Didn't manage to hold possession as Kapadze has got it. Here is Ahmedov. Plays it for Hasanov. Trying to pass the ball towards the left, but was cut out. Yuhan Chao. Li Sheng trying to find 
striker Yang Zhu, but the defense did well to cut out the pass. Ahmedov. Jeparov scored two goals in that game. Boys towards him, but didn't manage to win it though. Genry. That pass didn't find Japarov. The goalkeeper plays it long. And once again, China are not able to hold possession for too long. But now they've got it. Li Sheng. Nice block there. But Kapadze just let the ball go past him. Zheng Zhi plays it long once again. And once again, Uzbekistan winning the aerial battle. Now they're trying to attack. Akhmedov plays it wide for Hasanov. He does well to get inside. Now the cross for Genrich and Vang with a good save at the end. Not a bad attempt from Genrich. The early cross was a good one from the left wing. And the keeper did well. Yuhai now towards Li Sheng. Back to Yuhai. He's going forward, getting a shot finally and been blocked one minute for stoppages to be played Genrich maybe with the one last chance for Uzbekistan but here is the full time whistle Uzbekistan get their first victory of this tournament with a 3-0 hammering against China and China with a second consecutive 3-0 loss but as we look at the possession it's uh, it has been a pretty balanced game but Uzbekistan once again proving that they're very dangerous in attack. Having fired seven, shot, uh, 7 shots on target and 10 shots overall. With China managing only one shot in that game. But man of the match is Filip Usyan being very solid at the back. Ahmedov also getting a 7 rating. Jiparov getting only a 6.5. But that was it. Make sure to visit our website for the latest results and fixtures of the tournament. And also don't forget to vote for your favorite player in that game. For the fans favorite award at the end. The player with most votes will win the fans favorite award. Link of the website is in the description down below. So after that 3-0 victory, Uzbekistan are now top of the table with 4 points and China remain on the last place without any points. But that was it for this one, hope you really, really enjoyed it, it was an amazing game and press that like button if you did enjoy it and also subscribe to make sure you won't miss a single video. But that was it for today, I'll see you tomorrow with two more games from Group C, match day number 2 and until then, take care.